Do you know the story of the people Allah cursed in the Quran for burning Muslims alive? The title of today's video is Ashabul Ukhdud. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah Al Buruj, "Qutila Ashabul Ukhdud." Cursed were the people of the ditch. But who were the people of the ditch? You see, a long time ago, there used to be a king, and this king had a magician who was getting old. So the magician told the king, "Why don't we train someone new to be the magician after me?" So the king told the soldiers to bring him some young, intelligent boys. The king chose the most intelligent one, and the magician started training. Training him every single day. So every day the boy would go to the magician's house to learn magic and come back. But one day on the way he stumbled upon a strange home, and in that home was a religious monk. The monk was impressed by the boy's intelligence, so he started teaching him religion. So every day this boy left his house and learned religion at the monk's house, and then went to the magician's house to learn magic, and then went back home. So the boy was learning two contradictory things at once: religion and magic. So eventually, as time went on, he became confused. Until one day, the boy stumbled upon a large group of people who were scared of a beast who was blocking the road. So he picked up a rock and said, "Oh Allah, if you prefer the teachings of the monk over the teachings of the magician, then kill this beast with this rock." So he threw the rock, and the beast was killed. So he went to the monk and he told him the story. The monk said, "My son, you have reached a status that is higher than mine, and you will be tested. And if you ever get captured, don't tell them about me." So this boy got even more knowledgeable, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala started appearing miracles in his hands. He cured the sick, he cured the blind, he cured the lepers, and this boy became famous. And news of this boy spread all the way to the king's advisor who was blind. So the king's advisor offered him gifts and said, "Cure my blindness." The boy said, "I don't want your gifts. I just want you to believe in Allah." And the king's advisor became Muslim and he got his eyesight back. But when he went back to the king, the king said, "How are you not blind?" The advisor said, "By the will of Allah." The king said, "You believe in a god other than me?" The advisor said, "Yes, Allah." So the king tortured his advisor until he told him about the boy. So the king summoned the boy, and when he saw him, he said, "You must have exceeded your magician." The boy said, "No, this is from Allah." So the king tortured and tortured him until the boy told him about the monk. He summoned the monk and he asked him, "What do you believe?" The monk said, "I believe in Allah." And he tortured the monk, but the monk wouldn't let go of his religion. So the king put a saw on his head and chopped him into two pieces. He then told his advisor, "Give up your religion." His advisor refused, and he cut him into two pieces. But when the boy refused to give up his religion, the king ordered his soldiers to throw him off a mountain. But on the way, the boy made a du'a, and Allah saved him. The king was confused. Then he told his soldiers to drown him in the ocean. But he made a du'a, and Allah saved him. So the boy told the king, "If you want to kill me, invite a big crowd, tie me up, say Bismillah, and then shoot me with an arrow, and I'll die." And that's what the king did. He said Bismillah, and he killed the boy. But after hearing Bismillah, the entire crowd became Muslim. So the king dug up ditches in the city, filled them with fire, and he burnt those Muslims alive. And that's why the king and his advisors are known as Ashabul Ukhdud.